Shalom. Koholo Yahweh Bashmi on Shah Bashim Kakadash. The bonds of the apostles, the bonds of the elders, the great millstone rule well and toss his truth. Must respect to you, brothers out there, just preach his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of earth. Tabernacle David, hopefully, and speckle burn and one say shalom. So I want to get into this quick lesson. Uh, I had went to uh Kentucky down under, and uh it was a pretty nice experience. The animals were free for the most part. All right, because this is better than going to the Louisville Zoo that we got down here where the animals are caged up. They look miserable. Over here, you can literally go out and pet the animals. All right, literally pet the animals for the most part, some of these animals. Now, you had some uh, dingoes that were born in the wild. I mean, socket that weren't born in the wild, but that were raised up by humans. And, uh, you know, dingoes, they're just wild dogs. But it was cool that, um, let me see if I got in here. It was cool that I was able to um, pet them, you know. Not these dingles over here. But um, anyways, to get to the lesson, though, like I said, it was pretty nice, pretty nice experience um, going through this uh, little cave. And uh, it reminded me of the scriptures, especially right here. You know, when we read in uh, 2nd Ezra 7 that... Um, you got it. We're, we're called to go through this straight and narrow path and go and do the straight and narrow path. If you're not of the elect, you're either going to fall off on one side. Uh, you're either going to fall off and burn. And on the other side, you're either going to fall off and drown. And this is what reminded me of the scriptures, you know, and uh, Lord willing, we be those men and, and we endure to the end and we continue through this walk because everybody else. They're not going through the straight and narrow path. They're, they're doing whatever they want to do. All right. They hear about this truth. Our people hear about this truth and still want to be in Christianity, Islam or atheists or, or do what thy will spirit. You know, and they're going to have to learn the hard way. So they're either going to drown or burn. All right. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get the scriptures, man. Um, I said I just wanted this to be a quick lesson. It's Revelation 16 and verse 15 behold i come as a thief blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments least he walk naked and they see his shame all right so you're supposed to be watching man and keeping your garments is is walking this walk man making sure that you clean in the lord's eyes not uh doing what everybody else is doing all right at least you walk in this walk and you fall out this truth and the people see your shame man all right, because us as a man of the Lord, we're called to be a higher standard than these other people, man. All right, these other people are in sin. These other people are doing whatever they want to do. All right, so the Lord says, I come as a thief. So that's when you least expect it. All right, but it's not going to be uh, when we least expect it because we're going to be watching, man. We're going to be looking. We're going to understand what time it is. All right, and understanding what time it is, we're going to keep our garments clean. Now, you know, a Christian will read that and think that it's talking about, you know, actually keeping your garments clean. No, that's that's keeping yourself clean in this truth to the best of your ability. Keep the law, says your commandments to the best of your ability. Walk in this walk and talk in this talk as you should. Uh, Matthew 7, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go through it. All right, so enter in the straight gate, and that's what we were doing in this cave, man. Had to enter into the straight gate. All right. Let's see. Um, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. You see, only few is going to make it to the kingdom of heaven. And only few is going to walk this straight and narrow path. For everybody else, they're going to take the twists and turns. They're going to take the short route. And they're going to be destroyed. All right. You got to have patience. You got to patiently wait upon the Lord. This is 2nd Ezra 7 and verse 6. This is pretty much the scriptures that I wanted to get. There is also another thing. A city is built up and set upon a broad field and full of all good things. Now, this is talking about the kingdom of heaven. The entrance thereof is narrow and set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there was a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water. And that's the spirit because literally on the left 
of us was deep water. All right? You would either, hey, if you was to fall, you drown. All right? So on the uh, right side, you burn. Okay? So walk this straight and narrow path to the best of your ability. Pray to the Lord that you endure to the end and make it, man. All right? Because this straight and narrow path ain't for everybody. You know, you have dudes that come into this walk and they'll be on fire for this truth, but then they'll fizzle out. So pray to the Lord that you don't that you do not fizzle out. Verse eight and only one path between the both, even between the fire and water so small that there could be. But only one go there at once. You see, only one go there at once. And that that, that was happening with us, man. Only one person. One person. So pretty much you can't hold nobody's hand in this walk, man. You're accountable for yourself. OK, you are accountable for yourself. You cannot hold nobody else's hand. If they don't want to do the work, if they don't want to preach this word. Hey, it is what it is. All right. They got to learn the hard way. They got to. Hey, they either going to drown or burn. Or both, shoot. <laughs> hey, Lord would do that. Lord is the king of terrors. Uh, if this city now were given unto a man for inheritance, if he shall never pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? So the Lord is pretty much saying, hey, Jezreel racks fat. When we had the kingdom of heaven, when we had the kingdom, our people still turn into idols. They still turn to the ways of the heathens. So the Lord is not going to give you the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is going to consist a spiritual power ruling over our oppressors with a rod of iron, riches, glory, fame, fortune. He's not going to give that to you. You got to work for it, man. That's pretty much what the Lord is saying. You have to work for this. If you do not work for this, the Lord is not going to give you this kingdom of heaven, man. Give you this prize. Okay. Just like if you don't work, you don't eat. Believe the scriptures say, you know, just roughly paraphrasing, he that doesn't work, just roughly paraphrasing, is uh, as as an infidel, man. You know, because you're, you're supposed to work. You're supposed to provide for your family to the best of your ability, man. Now, we know that we're in the uh, we're in the uh, Esau Edom's kingdom, and he makes everything harder than what it needs to be. And that's why we need the kingdom of heaven so we can be full. Right now, this man Esau Edom, he's full. That's all right. The Lord is going to turn everything around. He's going to be skinny. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's get some more. Matthew 16, verse 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. You see? So losing your life for the Lord's sake, walking this path for his name's sake, all right, you're going to find life. All right. And everybody else, they're going to take the twists and turns. They're going to take the shortcuts, the shortcuts as in trusting Esau, Edom, and they're going to be confounded. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to lose their life. For what is a man profit if, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give exchange for his soul? All right. Like what's going to amount to you if you gain all these riches and at the end, you're just going to lose it all anyways. People are going to know your name. People will know where you live. And they're going to be searching for you. And you're going to be taken out. Especially you Jakes out here. And if you Esau eat them, you're probably going to be in the bunker. Okay. <laughs> and the men of the Lord, the angels, Yahweh Shai. Hey, we, we going to take you. Lord, when we those men, we going to take you out, man. We're going to take you out them bunkers, them space stations, them submarines. It ain't going to be pretty for you. Uh, let's get the next scripture, and I believe I'm going to close out on these. This is uh, 2 Ezra 7, verse 17. Then answered I and said unto, O Yahweh that bears rule, thou hast ordained in thy law that the righteous should inherit these things, but, that un but the ungodly should perish. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for wide, and for they that have done wickedly shall suffer straight things and yet shall not see the wide. All right, so the Lord is giving you a distinction. Everybody 
is going to go through it. Some shape, form, or another, especially in the times of Jacob's trouble, Lord going to be trying your faith. And the righteous, when they're going through it, they're going to stand that the kingdom of heaven is near, man. Whatever happens, man, the Lord got our back. And that, you know, if we endure to the end, we endure as soldiers. We're going to get the kingdom. And when the wicked, you're going to see a lot of our wicked, the wicked of our people out here, they're going to be out here suffering. They're not going to be able to take this straight and narrow route. They're going to be looking for the men of the Lord, asking for answers and, and trying to get <laughs> safety, man. But no, they, they're going to suffer. And when they're suffering, they're probably going to be cursing the Lord out. And they're going to get destruction. All right, they're not going to see the kingdom of heaven. You know, if they perish, they're not going to be first ones to be risen up. They're not going to do that, man. That's not going to happen to them. All right, and they're going to come back in the kingdom of heaven as newborn babies, okay? And they're going to have that everlasting shame and contempt on them. And you don't want that, so that should push you in this walk. That should push you in this walk, man. No matter what you go through, like, man, I don't, don't want to wake up in the kingdom of heaven with the everlasting shame and contempt on me, man. Um, verse 19, and he, and he said unto me, there's no judge above power and none that have understanding above the highest for there shall be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of power that is set before them because they don't, they do not want to go through that straight and narrow path. So they're going to perish. They didn't want to take the time to get to know the Lord and for the Lord to know them. To make their calling and election sure. They didn't want to take the time. So they're going to perish. They wanted to eat that sh uh, pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. And thus, the back, <laughs> their ribs is going to be touching their backs, man. Verse 21. For power have given straight commandments to such as came. And what they shall do to live. Even as they came. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. The Lord is giving you his men of the Lord. Out there on the highways and byways, giving you this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and you have rejected it. And so, since you have rejected it, you didn't learn how to avoid punishment. So you're gonna perish, man. It's hey, it's not gonna be a quick and and painless death, man. Hey, it's gonna be a long and drawn out, horrible death, man. Verse twenty five, and therefore Ezra, for the empty are empty things, so for the full are full things. Behold, the times shall come that these tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass and the bride shall appear again and she coming forth shall be seen that now is withdrawn from the earth and whosoever is delivered from these foresaid evils shall see my wonders and don't you want to be a part of that don't you want to be don't you want to see the wonders of Yahweh by Shemel Shai get those new bodies get beamed up See our enemies perish. Look down in the chariot. And see their destruction. Alright, so this ain't the time to be foolish virgins. This is the time to be wise virgins. Until you how about Shemel Shah and continue in this straight and narrow path. So I'm going to end it right there. Shalom.